Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Domian Voice, done by the Media Unit in collaboration with the ICT Society of St. Thomas's College, Mount Levin. As you may be aware, the Domian tennis team have been having a golden year. This year, they went on to win the public schools tournament after a lapse of 21 years. They also went on to win the national schools tournament for the second consecutive year. And just last week, they won the EFC Pereira Memorial Challenge Cup with Royal Tomian Encounter 2016. Today, it is an honor for me to interview the captain of the Tomian tennis team, Sebastian Sanso. Good morning, Sebastian, and thank you for being with us today from Tomian Voice. Now, I must ask you, what has made this team so special in order for it to achieve what Tomian tennis has not been able to in the last 20 years? First of all, good morning, Renal, and thanks for having me. Well, I guess what has made this team so special is that we had a lot of younger players coming from last year who did, in fact, lose a couple of tournaments. Last year, we, we weren't able to achieve everything we wanted to. And what changed this year is that a lot of our players showed great maturity and great commitment in actually making the difference to win this year. So, I of course believe that tennis has had special teams throughout the years. But I think what made this year special is that our younger players showed great maturity, which I think was, a, was what made us win uh, so much this year. It is the dream of every young sportsman to captain the college team at one point of his life. To you, what does it mean to have the honour of captaining such a talented team? Well, I guess first of all, it is in, indeed a great honour and privilege to be captaining such a side. And I guess what makes it so special is that you get to see all these young, talented players performing really well and at the end of the day, you're their leader. So it means, in terms of seeing these young people grow and seeing them, them achieve so much for college means that, and knowing that you are behind, you're leading them makes it a great privilege and honor. And more than anything else, I think that's what it is. I'm sure in your tenure as captain for the last two years, there would have been lots of times where you would have felt like the game is slipping out of your hands and where the pressure would have been overwhelmed. What are some of your most memorable moments on court? Well, I must say we've had a lot of those moments both last year and this year as well. Well, I guess what it, what the difference is the fact that we believed in all of our players and put our full confidence in each of them. Even though the matches would have been tough, we, we were always there to support our players, which at the end of the day meant that after our players won, the success was that much sweeter. So. Of course, uh, the special, all our special, all our moments have been special. But I'll have to particularly mention public schools winning it after 21 years and the Royal Tomian after losing it last year. Seeing our youngsters fight back and pull it through this year. Sebastian, you have been a three-year talisman and captained the team over the last two years. This is apart from your other involvements in many other extracurriculars and your exceptional performance in studies. What advice would you give all these young kids who wish to join sports and get involved in many other extracurricular activities? Well, first of all, I think I'd have to say is that the young Thormians shouldn't be afraid to try whatever they want to do in school. I think some Thormians feel that they are afraid of the workload that getting involved in other extracurriculars entails. But I don't think that's something they should be afraid of because of the fact that while you're in school, it is the time where you can do so much. And I think school is built to sort of uh, mold you into the personality and prepare you for what the world about the world is going to act for you. And I think what this has taught me particularly is that you learn to be committed to whatever you do. And I think that learning to be, uh, be, be committed and balancing your work all together is our important values that I think St. Thomas College particularly can actually help you achieve. I'm sure the team has been able to achieve what it has only because of the hard work and dedication of players and coaches alike. In closing, is there anyone who would like to thank? Of course, I would like to start off with thanking my team. They've done so much and I'm really proud of them for what they've achieved this year and I'm sure that they can carry this throughout through next year. I'd also like to thank especially my Vice-Captain, Viranka Fernando, who has been there by my side and helped me in the tough times and the good times and has done so much for college this year. Also, of course, the, the coaches, Mr. Anjuna Anthony and Mr. Ponseca, my master in charge, who have been there supporting us throughout the year and for so many years now. And it's really great to see how committed they are and we really thank them for that. Also, I would like to especially thank Mr. Rohan De Silva, who was a past captain of St. Thomas College and was also captain of the Sri Lanka Davis Cup team. 
and he actually sacrificed a lot of his time to help us in the weeks of coming the National School Games and the Royal Tournament. His expertise and his insight into the game really helped us pull through a lot of the tough matches that, that, were, that we were going to go up against. And he also, but also was special in the fact that he came for our matches and was there by our side when, we, when the times were tough and gave us advice that we wouldn't have been able to get from anyone else. We really appreciate his support and the support of everyone from the tennis committee to the players to the parents for being there throughout, for this, throughout the year. Thank you Sebi for your time and I'm sure the support is one thing that every sports team really needs him. and we wish you and your team all the very best as you take on Trinity College this Saturday. Thank you Renal, it has been a pleasure. This is Renal Vikramaratna on behalf of the Media Unit and the ICT Society of St. Thomas's College, Aunt Louis. A stoke perpetual.